Hello, this is Shirlene, and I'm coming for, uh, to you from my home office today. And I just want to tell you to stay in and stay warm because it seems like the whole country is being blanketed almost with really cold temperatures and snow. A few places, you know, it's still 70s and 80s, but so many places. It's I did a, a post today, what's the temperature where you live? And it's the average seemed to be about 10 or below. So, and a lot of people are getting snow. We're going to have it all week here in the Midwest, um, and I think a lot of people are, supposedly, another big storm coming in. And also posted about being sure, hello Mary, being sure to feed the birds. People forget, you know, birds starve to death in this kind of weather. They've got to have food and water. I don't have any bird seed here, but I had bread, and I made sourdough biscuits, and I made them just so I could have some extra to feed the birds. My cats are inside when I'm sitting here on my desk. So be sure and feed the birds. Give them water if you can. If you have to fill it several times a day, then so be it. But they need they need our help too. But what I want to talk about today is our health and our own nutrition and how to not only build up our immune systems, but proper nutrition is good for your gut health. And when your gut's healthy, your whole body can be healthier. And because almost all diseases, they say, starts with, inflammation in the gut and if you've got inflammation in your body and lots of it from eating a diet that's too acidic and you're not eating enough fruits and vegetables and you're eating too they say we eat way too much protein you know you need protein yes but you may not need need an abundance of the meat that people eat in this country i have i pretty much eat vegetarian but i do eat fish and shrimp on occasion and i will eat some meat that I don't eat very much. If I do, it's a few bites. I don't really like to eat it at all. Most of it just soon not have it. But anyway, that's your choice on that. But we can certainly eat less of it. To cut down a lot of that acidity in our bodies, that helps with your immune system health, which we know your immune system will, will help you fight off whatever bugs are going around. And there's a lot of them going around right now. So you want to stay as healthy as you can. So I'm going to start doing my health tips again and kind of just a reminder of some things we might need to do. So I want to talk about some things. You want to keep the inflammation down in your body to not only keep your health up, but to prevent aging. These are all anti-aging tips too. So things you're going to add to your diet and to your food are turmeric, walnuts, pineapple, broccoli, flaxseed, green tea. You can drink green tea um, instead of drinking those sodas. Uh, lemons, I usually squeeze fresh lemons every day and make uh, lemonade with stevia or mock fruit. And I'll drink that pretty much throughout the day. Sometimes I'll mix it with other kinds of berry drinks, but you really need those lemons. Berries, uh, really all kinds of berries. Blueberries, and I'm going to talk more about a couple of things today that I'm going to focus on a little more. Another day I'll focus on some others. But blueberries, I'm going to talk about today. They're, they're especially good for you. Cantaloupe, avocado, kale, and garlic. Now, there's other things good for your immune system, but that's a good rundown thing. If you'll just try to add one or two of those in your diet every day, just figure out, you know, a couple of walnuts a day. Those, ta those are tasty. You could even toast them and put them on salad or just eat them, eat them fresh. Eat two, three, or four a day. They're good for you. You don't have to eat a whole bunch. Just, you know, they say just a few in the palm of your hand. But again, turmeric, walnuts, pineapple, broccoli, flaxseed, green tea, lemons, berries, cantaloupe, avocado, kale, and garlic. Get as much of that in as you can. Garlic and onions are especially good during this cold flu season that we're in. And, you know, staying in and staying warm. Our house is not the best place sometimes to keep us healthy because the air purification systems in our houses, the air's just not that good usually. So we're not getting outside as much. Hey, Dorinda and Kathy, we're not getting outside as much. And so therefore you want to compensate with a better diet and better drinks and get some of this stuff in your body every day. Mushrooms are good for your immune system. <coughs> Black beans, and I already said garlic and onions. I would try to get some garlic and onion in every day. Even chopped up onion and on uh, with a little bit of olive oil on toast. You can get those onions down that way or the garlic down that way. Just put the real garlic on there if you've got it. And it works better than the powdered stuff. And just eat it. And it can actually be tasty. 
But let's talk then today, I'm going to talk about two things. And blue-green algae is another one that's just overall good for your immune system, for your body. I mean, you can't beat it. So we are going to talk in specifically today about blueberries and blue-green algae. Blueberries, the health benefits are tremendous. One, I love them. They're sweet and they're very nutritious and they're low in calories. I like blueberries mixed with strawberries. I like blueberries just to eat with yogurt. I like blueberries just to eat, period. <laughs> I like blueberries. But, you know, there's something called the Dirty Dozen, and blueberries is among that. Blueberries and strawberries and soft skin fruits are the ones that you really probably should buy organic if you can or buy them from... I know in our area we have a guy that raises them, but the last couple of years he hasn't really had them, but he doesn't spray anything on them or anything. But I used to get, like, 20 quarts and put them in the freezer, but they're all gone now. But I do like, to, if I can, get my strawberries and blueberries organic. Some things I don't worry as much about, but your soft your soft skin fruits and you're eating that whole skin, they say those are the ones you got to worry about the most because pesticides, we know, they're toxic to our body. And you've got to do things to get those toxins out of your body too. So keep that in mind. Um... Again, they're low in calories. Blueberries have fiber, vitamin C, which we know is good for that cold and flu season, vitamin K, manganese, and other potassium, many other things in it. Uh, and a lot of them in smaller amounts, but they're still in there, and they're still good for you. It's a top antioxidant food, which protects you from the free radicals. It's one of the highest antioxidant levels of common fruits and vegetables. Now, when I get to blue-green algae, I can tell you it's even better. And I'm going to talk about how that works. I take it every day, and you don't want to just buy it anywhere, though. I'll talk about that. Blueberries reduce your DNA damage, and your DNA damage makes us age faster and can bring on diseases. So you want to protect your DNA. Blueberries are good for that, but probably blackberries and raspberries are equally as good. And actually, I eat all three. I just eat all three, and I eat them generally with yogurt with my blue-green algae in it. Uh, so you want to protect your DNA. It helps keep you younger, if nothing else. Uh, you can protect your cholesterol levels, your load, your, especially your bad LDL with blueberries. Some people claim you need two cups of blueberries a day, and I think that's more in studies where they were looking at, you know, reducing blood pressure and things like that. Hey, Shelly. But the blueberries overall, I don't eat two cups a day. I do try to put them in yogurt, and I try to eat them as much as I can because they are really, really good for you. And they're really good. They're brain food. That's one of the best things for your brain and for your heart. So they can be preventive in many ways. Uh, they improve studies that I looked at today. They improve functions and improve memory. And I've actually read that many, many times before. And they may help with some uh, keeping your sugars in line a little bit. So... The bottom line, don't worry about eating blueberries and strawberries because they're recommended. Even diabetics, they're told we can eat those things. So you're looking at protecting your brain, protecting your immune system, maybe protecting your heart and protecting your body in many ways. Now, another thing you should add to your diet every day is yogurt. A lot of people eat yogurt once in a while, and that's sugar-free yogurt, by the way. And I like to get the organic kind if I can. And you can also get yogurts in... Uh, almond and coconut if you don't want the dairy but it's not only creamy and delicious and healthy but it's a good thing to, i like to take the yogurt and put my blueberries in it i like to put my blue green algae actually in it i get some little packets that actually come in honey so they sweeten the yogurt and but it's a tiny bit of honey it's not very much at all and then it's got that blue green algae in there phycocyan which is anti-aging um, builds your immune system. It's good for every single organ in your body, your hair, your nails, your skin, and we'll talk more about it in a minute, but it's good for everything. So I put that in my yogurt. Then I put my blueberries or blackberries or strawberries on there, and then I put a little bit of granola, and I'll eat that for breakfast, and sometimes I eat it for lunch. Now you can put your blueberries and your algae in smoothies and you know different things. Hey, Sandy, you can put it in many different things, but if you'll just get these things down in some form or fashion every day, you're just going to be better. Even if you make pancakes, I make pancakes sometimes. I do uh, sourdough pancakes. Sourdough is fermented and it's better for your gut. Uh, but you can put your blueberries and even nuts in your pancakes. You can put yogurt in pancakes too. So you can get these things in your diet 
every day. You don't have to have them all every day, but you want some of them every day. So, again, buy your yogurt unsweetened and then sweeten it yourself with uh, mock fruit, stevia, or that tiny bit of honey. You don't want too much honey in there, though. Too much sugar if you put too much. But spirulina, and many people have heard of spirulina, and there's so many health benefits on spirulina, blue-green algaes, phycocyan. The phycocyan may be a new name to you, but it comes from blue-green algae. The phycocyan by itself is blue. The blue-green algae is green. And then your spirulina, of course, it's green. Now, I always wanted to, I always knew about the health benefits of spirulina. They're tremendous. It was the first food that God put on the earth. It was in ponds and lakes. Algae was here before we were. So this algae has been around forever. Our lakes, though, now in India and China and places where they grow algaes and sell them to us in powders, they're totally contaminated. And I never would buy algaes or blue-green algaes or spirulina because they were contaminated, even though I knew the health benefits, I knew the anti-aging, I knew that it was good for my hair, for my skin, for my nails. I knew all that, <clears throat> but I wouldn't take it because it was contaminated. When you buy it, even in health food stores, if you read on it, a lot of it comes out of the uh, lakes in China. I mean, it says, product of China. And you don't want any of that stuff. And they just don't have really efficient ways to grow it on lakes. Some, there's some places better than others, but so much of it if it's grown outdoors you know pesticides blow over and get sprayed and get carried in the wind and the rain and it's just going to be contaminated if you if you're leaving it to grow outside so i found a company and i jumped on it in a heartbeat <coughs> because i wanted the spirulina i just didn't want where, the way it was grown <coughs> this company does biotechnology they grow it in huge labs they've been in germany about six years and it's just now come to the United States, and I take it every day. It's good for your gut health, your hair, your nails, your organs, your heart. Every organ in your body will benefit. And I'll tell you just on my hair. My hair used to be, just, and I've got old pictures. I could post them. I've, some I've done uh, YouTube uh, videos like this on lives. And my hair would just look awful because it was it was coming out, and it was thinning. It was, it was ugly. I mean, it just looked awful. And I didn't like it, but I didn't know what to do about it. Well, when I started doing this blue-green algae, spiclocyan, my hair has gotten shiny. I mean, I did not wash it today. <laughs> Maybe I should have, but I didn't. But, I mean, it's shiny. It's healthier. It's it's not thinning. And it was real brittle before. It was just so dry. And it was just a mess. And I was like, ugh, this is not good. But I can tell you, it's all cleared up. Because your, your blue-green algae, spiclocyan, have all the nutrition in them. They got all the amino acids that our body needs and all there's a long list of other just their natural nutrients in it because there's nothing added to this the company adds nothing it's all there naturally and they don't take it out they don't put it in they just grow it in in labs where it's controlled environment and they can grow it in in a pure safe environment and they just can control the temperature and so forth <clears throat> so um and they get the water to grow it in from this spring in, I mean, Germany or France, somewhere over there, and it's just some of the purest water in the world, so, and then they can put it in the uh, computer-generated bi biotechnology, big vats of things, and grow it then from that water in a very controlled environment, so it's not it's not containing all those contaminants and heavy metals. You have to be careful with algae. <coughs> That's all I'm saying. The source is, is it's just everything. But again, uh, your algaes are good for your gut health. You have to keep your gut healthy to keep your body healthy. It's a great for detoxing every day. It aids in weight loss and management. I've lost 60 pounds in the last couple of years. And I've noticed, and I've been taking this Picocyan for a while now, several months, but I've noticed my weight just... I don't I don't gain the weight back and I kind of eat what I want to so I think it helps with it says it helps with weight loss and maintenance and I believe it obviously it helps with memory I, I definitely want to protect my memory and I'm going to do whatever I can to do that but it's good for eye health it's good for dental health it's good for your teeth and again anti-aging and the list goes on so if you want a good source of uh, 
algaes, blue green algae, spirulina, phycocyan, let me know and I'll, I'll hook you up with that. You can just be a customer and buy it. You don't have to get in any, any kind of deal with it. You can just buy it if you want to. But uh, <clears throat> eat your blueberries. I'm sorry about the lighting here, near folks. I got a new office furniture and my lighting uh, has not hooked up yet and I can't hook it up because the uh, plugins are all behind the furniture they put in. I can't get to it. <laughs> so the lighting is not real good in the daytime. It's okay. But eat your blueberries, eat your blackberries, eat your berries every day, eat your yogurt and add some algae to your diet. You cannot go wrong if you get good stuff. If you get contaminated stuff, you'll do more harm than good and you don't want to do that. So <clears throat> if you want to know more, get with me. Otherwise, eat right, keep yourself healthy. We're staying inside, I think, way too much right now with this bad weather, but it won't last that long. It's February, end of February. We'll be able to get back out. You need that fresh air too. You need to get out of your house some. Your house is not the. <coughs> I'm choking up because my cat's sitting here on my desk. <coughs> she doesn't help me any. But um, it does help to get outside when you can. But feed the birds. Give them food and water every day till this weather clears. It's only a few days. You can manage it. And then um, bring your pets in. Obviously, it's to go for them out there too. And you have a blessed day. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.